everybody. This is Art with Mrs. Ford. All right, so today we are going to create a cut paper abstract design. And as you can see right here, here's an example of my abstract design. It's not really anything specific, but it looks really cool from all different angles. Now, so what we're going to need is we're going to need a whole bunch of different supplies. First, we're going to need a black piece of paper. It could be any size. We're working right here with a six by six inch piece of black paper, or it could be a dark colored paper. doesn't matter. You need to pick two colors to work with. Right here, I have three, but I'm going to choose two. I'm going to choose the red and the blue. So I'm going to put them to the side. You're going to need a glue stick and a pair of scissors. All right, so if you don't have any of these materials at home or when you're doing this project, you want to do some kind of similar um, material. So they don't have to be, if you have patterned paper, you could use patterned paper. If you have plain paper, whatever you have. If you don't have black, maybe a darker color piece of paper would work as well. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put these to the side and we're going to get one piece of paper. And what we're going to do is we are going to create squares, different shaped squares, and we're going to attach them onto our black paper and creating a really cool design. So the easy way to do that is you're going to fold this in half, crease with your fingertips. You're going to get your pair of scissors. And I have a really cool um, hot pink pair of scissors here. Okay, and we are going to cut a square. Now you don't want to cut a square right off the bat here because this is the same size as our background. And if we did that, it wouldn't look very cool. It would come right off the edge and we wouldn't see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in a few inches and I'm going to cut straight. Turn. And I'm going to keep this one rather simple first. Cut it off. Okay, now you don't want to throw this away, just kind of put it to the side because you never know when you're going to want to use it again. Now I'm going to do another one. Maybe this one I want to do a little thick, medium thickness. So I'm going to cut this out. Okay, and notice that I did cut along the fold side so that when I open this up, it is a square. And this I'm going to lay down on my project. I'm not going to glue anything down until I really can play with what I like. I'm going to use the same piece of paper and I'm going to keep cutting. Remember that you want to cut on the fold. So always hold the fold by your thumb. Make sure you hold it by your thumb and then cut from there. So this time I'm going to do a little one, but I'm going to do more of a squiggle. I'm going to do a squiggle. Remember, you're only cutting squares, so you want to try to keep them as close to squares as possible. Okay, then I'm going to repeat it. Keep repeating, repeating. Okay, then we are going to take this and we are going to open it up. It looks like a little picture frame. I'm going to put that inside for right now. Okay, since I'm continuing working on it, let's work on the blue. Alright, so we're only going to use two colors, so any two colors that you like. You could choose warm colors and complementary colors or primary colors, whatever colors you want. Again, on the fold, so make sure your thumb rests on the fold while you cut. I'm going to cut in the center here, and I'm going to cut just a regular square this way, and I'm going to get fancy with the inside, so then I'm going to do some zigzags. Okay, I'm going to do some zigzags. Might look almost like shark teeth here. -na -na -na. All right, so let's see what this is going to look like. This will be really cool. Yes, look at that. Now, you could also look at this and say, well, you know what would be really cool? If I fold this in half and I snip the edges just the edges. Those two, I don't want to snip where the fold is. So if I just do that, the whole piece is going to fall into two. So look at that. We're going to dust these off and I'm going to put this right here. All right, now let's see if I'm going to continue. I'm going to keep with the blue. This time I'm going to do an itty bitty tiny, tiny square. I'm going to do just a regular square, but tiny. Tiny, tiny. Okay. Open it up. 
and then put that in there. All right, now I think I need one more piece. I'm gonna go back to my red, okay? I'm gonna go back to this piece here that I have. Um, and I'm gonna do more swirly on this as well. I'm gonna open it up. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play around with how I would like my picture. So I'm gonna play around with the composition, how our picture is laid out, as I'm having trouble here. All right, so I think that I want to lay down this one first. And let's see, hmm, I think I wanna do it diagonal. I like how this looks. Then I'm gonna use my next one. Maybe you could do the same way. Mm, you know what, I'm not sure if I wanna do that one, let's see. Let's do this guy. And then let's put this one right in the center, okay? You know what? I'm not liking this guy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put him to the side and I'm gonna grab this itty bitty tiny piece of blue square paper that I have and I'm gonna cut out a really tiny, tiny square. I think that would look really cool, yeah. I'm gonna put that right in the center. There we go. So you're gonna move everything to the side, kind of remember where you are working with. Notice I only did this with the two pieces of paper. You're going to work with your glue stick, okay? And you are gonna glue your edges. Um, if you don't have a table that you can get dirty, put a piece of paper underneath your glue surface. Okay, but you can see that I'm working on my art table. So there is lots and lots of stuff all over it. So we're gonna do we're gonna glue here. Continue. Oh, that is okay. If that happens when you are trying to glue, then all you need to do is just kind of glue it on so it looks like it's in place. So then when you go to glue this here, just kind of move this together. Okay, lay them nice and flat, make sure there's nice and glued. Keep going. Okay, go back into the best they glue to the table, right? And our last one, this tiny, tiny square that we have right here. Let's see. Should do, uh, you know what? I'm going to do it that way so it goes right inside. And voila, we have our abstract cut paper project that we just did. Now notice that everyone's going to be so different. So that's okay if there are different because everyone has a different personality, has different paper that they chose. So it's totally up to you. You are the artist. You make the decisions. The last step of this is what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we write our name right on the front and that is it. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I hope that you guys had fun making cut paper today. Bye.